To work smarter in Illustrator, you can save colors you create in a document as swatches and reuse them later for speed and color consistency. To apply colors to this design, you'll learn how to save a color as a swatch in your document using the Swatches panel, apply that color to other artwork, and then update the swatch. In order to follow along, you can use your own document or open this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. To see all the content in this file, choose View, Fit All in Window. With the selection tool selected, click this green building shape to select it so that you can easily apply the color fill of this shape to other objects like the other building shapes. You'll save this green color in the document as a swatch. Click Fill Color in the Properties panel on the right to show the colors already saved with this document as swatches. So make sure this swatch option is selected. To save the color as a swatch, click the New Swatch button at the bottom of the panel. In the New Swatch dialog box that opens, you can give your color a name, like buildings or something else, something that makes sense to you and will also make sense to you later. Consider that you may use this color for something other than just building shapes in the future. Notice this global option, which is selected by default. Swatches are global by default, which means if you later update the global swatch, any objects with the color applied will update. Deselect Add to my library for now, and then click OK. You should now see it as a swatch in the panel. The swatch actually has a border highlight, which means it's applied to the selected building artwork. Know that swatches you create will only appear in the document you save them in. Now that the color is saved as a swatch, you can easily apply it to other artwork. Click one of the blue building shapes, then press the Shift key and click the other two blue buildings to select all three of them. Pressing the Shift key when you select artwork allows you to add more objects to a selection or remove objects from a selection. Click the Fill Color in the Properties panel, and looking at the new swatch you made here, this little white triangle in the corner means it's global. So if you edit the color, it will update all content with that swatch applied. Select the swatch you created to apply that color to the fill of all three. Then click in a blank area until you deselect all of the artwork. Now you'll edit that green swatch. Editing a swatch you create by default will update all of the buildings at once without having to select them. So with the selection tool selected, click one of the building shapes. That way you can see the fill color in the properties panel. Click the fill color on the right and double click the green swatch you made in the list. When it comes to creating a swatch, the resulting color is usually created by mixing other colors together. When it comes to documents meant for printing, it means mixing four printing inks found in a typical printer, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. To change the swatch color, you can edit each of the colors independently. You can do that by dragging sliders or typing in values. For the color here at the top, drag the slider to the left and achieve a more yellow-green color. Select Preview so you can see the effect, and if you need to move the dialog box out of the way, you can do that by dragging the title bar at the top. Notice that all of the shapes have now updated. Click OK. Click in a blank area to deselect the building shape. Saving your own swatches can definitely help you work faster and even achieve more consistent color across your artwork. Now that you know the basics of working with swatches, you can experiment in your own projects or try editing a color in this artwork by saving it as a swatch, applying it to other artwork in this document, and then update that swatch. To save a copy of this file, choose File, Save As. Name it something different so you preserve the original practice file. 